What does the recent Israeli strike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus tell us about the current situation in the Middle East? This question sets the stage for our discussion today. The Middle East, a region brimming with geopolitical rivalries and conflicts, has recently witnessed another significant escalation of tensions. The Iranian consulate in the Mazay neighborhood of Damascus, Syria, was targeted in a strike alleged to have been carried out by Israel. This attack resulted in not just the destruction of the consulate, but also the death of seven individuals. Among those killed were two top commanders from the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps, or the IRGC, as it's more commonly known. Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Zahidi and his deputy, General Mohammad Hadi Hadri Ahimi, were both reportedly lost in this incident. Their deaths indicate that this was not a random act of aggression, but rather a targeted operation. In response to this strike, Iran has promised a decisive response, a vow that suggests potential retaliation and a further escalation of tensions. With the region's history of volatility, this incident serves as a stark reminder of the fragile security situation. Interestingly, the Israeli military has remained silent on these reports. This policy of ambiguity is not out of character for Israel, often refraining from commenting on its military operations in the region, particularly those targeting Iranian interests. This silence, while maintaining a level of deniability, sends a clear message to its adversaries. This incident has brought the volatile situation in the Middle East into sharp focus. The strike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus is a significant development in the ongoing conflict between Israel and Iran, underscoring the potential for further escalation. As the world watches, the hope remains that dialogue and diplomacy will prevail over further violence. Israel and Iran have been locked in a shadow war for years. How does this latest incident fit into that narrative? Well, let's delve into that. For years now, Israel and Iran have been playing a precarious game of chess in the Middle East, each maneuvering to outwit the other, all while pointing fingers and accusing the other of destabilizing the region. This shadow war, fought in the shadows of diplomacy and often through proxies, has shaped the power dynamics in the region. Now, let's move on to the significance of the recent strike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus. This incident is not just another move on the chessboard. It marks a direct attack on Iranian interests in Syria, a country where Iran has been actively involved in supporting the Assad regime. This is not a random act of violence. It's a calculated, targeted operation, as evidenced by the death of two high-ranking officers from the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps. What could be the fallout from this incident is a question that is likely on the minds of many right now. The potential consequences of this strike are manifold. First and foremost, Iran's vow of a decisive response suggests a high likelihood of retaliation. This could take many forms, from cyber attacks on Israeli infrastructure to military strikes against Israeli interests in the region. Either way, if Iran does choose to retaliate, we could see an escalation of tensions in the Middle East, a region already fraught with conflict. This potential for further escalation should not be taken lightly. The Middle East is a complex web of alliances and rivalries, and any increase in hostilities could have far-reaching effects. Other nations in the region could be drawn into the conflict, either directly or indirectly, and the international community would be faced with the daunting task of trying to de-escalate the situation. The role of the international community in this scenario cannot be understated. The United Nations in particular will be closely monitoring developments in the region. The UN has a long history of mediating conflicts in the Middle East, and it will likely play a crucial role in any efforts to prevent further escalation. Meanwhile, the silence of the Israeli military is also noteworthy. Israel has a policy of ambiguity when it comes to its military operations in the region, particularly those targeting Iranian interests. This policy allows Israel to maintain a level of deniability while also sending a clear message to its adversaries. It's a delicate balancing act, one that Israel has managed to maintain so far. So where does this leave us? In a region already rife with tension, the strike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus has the potential to ignite a larger conflict. The international community will be watching closely, and the hope is that diplomacy will prevail over violence. The fallout from this incident could be far-reaching, with the potential for further escalation of tensions. Let's hope that cooler heads will prevail, and that this incident will serve as a wake-up call for the need for dialogue and diplomacy in the region. 
How has the international community responded to this incident? This is a question that is no doubt echoing in the corridors of power around the world. The strike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus has drawn responses from a multitude of nations, all expressing varying degrees of concern about the escalating tensions in the Middle East. Countries like the United States have expressed their worries about the potential for further conflict. Having been involved in Middle Eastern affairs for decades, the US understands the risks associated with escalating tensions in this volatile region. The US is urging all parties to exercise restraint and avoid actions that could lead to a larger conflict. On the other side of the globe, Russia and Syria have voiced their condemnation of the strike. They view the attack as a violation of international obligations, echoing Iran's own sentiments. This incident has added another layer of complexity to the already tangled web of international relations in the Middle East. But what about the United Nations? As a body that represents the collective will of the international community, its role in this situation is of the utmost importance. The UN is expected to play a key part in facilitating dialogue and diplomacy between the involved parties. Peaceful resolution to conflicts is the cornerstone of the UN's mission, and this incident provides yet another test of its ability to fulfill this crucial mandate. In the coming weeks and months, the international community will be watching the developments in the Middle East with bated breath. There are concerns that retaliatory actions could lead to a further escalation of tensions, potentially spiralling into a full-blown conflict. It is hoped that the parties involved will choose the path of dialogue and diplomacy over violence. The international community, particularly the United Nations, will be closely watching the developments in the region. This statement, while simple, carries with it the weight of the world's hopes for peace in the Middle East. The coming days will indeed be a test of the world's collective will to prevent further violence and strive for a peaceful resolution. What does this incident tell us about the future of the Middle East? The strike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus is a stark reminder of the delicate and volatile situation in the region. This incident, which has resulted in the loss of seven lives, including two high-ranking officers of the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps, is a significant escalation in the ongoing shadow war between Israel and Iran. This is not just another random act of aggression. This attack, directly targeting Iranian interests and personnel in Syria, underscores the seriousness of the situation. It's a clear indication of the lengths to which the parties involved are willing to go, further straining the already tense relations in this geopolitical hotspot. The potential fallout from this incident could be far-reaching, with Iran's vow of a decisive response hinting at possible retaliation. This raises the spectre of a further escalation of tensions, further destabilizing an already volatile region. It's a situation that the international community, particularly the United Nations, will be watching closely. The silence of the Israeli military is also of note. By maintaining a policy of ambiguity, Israel preserves a level of deniability while sending a clear message to its adversaries. This strategy serves to remind us of the complex and multi-layered nature of the conflicts in the Middle East. Yet amidst all this, there is a glimmer of hope. The hope that dialogue and diplomacy will prevail over violence. The hope that the international community will step in and help de-escalate the situation. The hope that peace and stability will eventually return to this beleaguered region. As we grapple with this incident, we are reminded of the fragile security situation in the Middle East and the urgent need for peace and stability.